Oh, you made it. Huh? What are they doing here? I gave them some technical work to do. Ah, oh, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? How's the work going? Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. Huh? Uh, more can knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Paimon's a little scared, but very, very furious! Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Now, please get ready and put on this device. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Uh, Paimon is still really worried. I understand, but trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. It's done. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh... A fool? A machine? A slave to orders. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Hmm. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebot and start preparing for the next step. Small projects? 
We are going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. Listen, as long as you stick to your own path. I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. And in the end... I still can't agree to it. But it's still the best plan we have. As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. Ahitham's <sighs> oh, plan is even more radical than I imagined. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? He's turned against our plan. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment, so you'll take care of the specifics. But then, you went to Al Haytham for suggestions. Had I known Al Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon, this is also something you should know. Raman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a Matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Wait! How can we work with the guards? We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru City. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something Al Haytham told you. Am I right? Doesn't Al Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Of course he does. He told me. There is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. They think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt but I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies, but now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can do to help? <laughs> 
I knew you would say that. Hmm. We can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. We strongly value the lives of our friends, but the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear of casualties, because we crave the spoils of victory. So please, lend us your support. We will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendrowarkon and those of King Deshret. Everyone's life is equally important. Okay. You have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them there. Guards! General Mahamatra! To... to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest, and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. They're a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible and treat it as a top-priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Got it! Please wait a moment, I'll contact them immediately. Because this is work. Because I trust you. Paimon can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff! Aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the Academia and are no longer their General Mahamatra? Even if that guard doesn't know, their superiors might, right? We discussed this, remember? The Caravan Rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry, the guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God Creation Plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert. Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, 
It's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and roots were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. But things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm. That's true. But why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true. But the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated chaotic mess. Any one of us could potentially disagree with another. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. <sighs> Is that so? I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate, and people will not be forever trapped by the past. Oh, I'm so glad that this is settled. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. <sighs> will do. Just remember to stay vigilant. General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. I'm the security officer of the Great Red Sand District. My name is Luxembarva. Hmm. This is my assistant, the Traveler. He will be working with me. The construct next to him is for his work. Beep! Construct! Beep! What a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And, uh, is this the latest technology from the Academia? Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. There's no need for flattery. <clears throat> yes, sir. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Understood. <sighs> map. Hurry, bring the map! In two days, we will engage Rahman's Aramites and capture all of them. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Yes, sir.
Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Hello. academia. Hello. <clears throat> Sorry, it took me a while to join. I was, I was collecting some music for a bit. It's fine. Ready. We will move out in two days. I think I've nearly finished the um, Sumeru thing. 